Hi and welcome. Today we are going to see how to create a gravitational force around a sphere in Unity. Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. The gravity is dependent on the mass of the object and the mass of the object that it's going to attract and also the distance between both the objects. So if you google gravity, you can see the equation of gravity. The gravitational force is equal to g which is nothing but the gravitational constant then you have to multiply both the masses the mass of the object that is creating the gravitational force and mass of the object that is experiencing the gravitation divided by the square of the distance between mass 1 and mass 2 you can see the value of g is 6.67 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 11 newton meter per kg now for the purpose of game we can ignore this so we can just multiply the mass of each of the game object and divide them by the square of the distance since unity's force is basically a direction we also need to multiply that with the normalized vector of the direction so to get started let's add two sphere to our scene so video object sphere and i'm going to reset the position and i'm going to call this as mass one Okay, and I'll add another 3D object. Uh, let's call this mass 2. Now let's move the mass 2 a little away from mass 1. And then increase the size of mass 1 by 5 times. Okay, so the mass 1 is bigger than mass 2. Now we just select both the masses and attach a rigid body to them. And make sure you disable gravity because unity's gravity is in the downward direction so both the mass will fall down we don't want that to happen we'll be using a custom gravity that we're going to create so next the assign the mass of the rigid body so the bigger one will be 5 times so let me set it to 5 for the smaller one let the mass be 1 so now to apply gravity what we're going to do we're going to use a physics dot overlap sphere to the distance that we require and any object that comes which has a collider attached to it then we'll check if it has a rigid body and if it has a rigid body then we'll apply a force towards the game object to which our gravity script is attached so we're going to attach the gravity script to mass 1 so let's go ahead and add a new script called gforce and create an add now we'll require a radius which is the distance to which we will be applying the gravity and it will depend on the mass of the game object and we will we'll also require a variable of type rigid body to, to get the rigid body component of this game object so let's say rigid body and let's call it rb then we'll say float and we'll call it radius so we'll not assign the value of radius because we're going to calculate it so first we'll get the rigid body so rb equal to get component and let's say rigid body sorry rigid body and then the radius should be a factor of the mass so let's say equal to rb dot mass multiplied by let's have it six times and let's divide it by 10 so that we'll have a factor so you can keep this factor anything that you want the 6 by 10 is basically a random value so it will be 0.6 times the mass of the game object that way you'll be able to use this script in all the game objects and just adjusting the mass will give you the adjustment to the radius so bigger the mass bigger the radius so once we have that next we are going to do the physics dot overlap sphere and since the operation is all physics let's do that in our fixed update so let's say void fixed update so first we are going to get the collider so there may be more than one collider so we'll use an array and let's call them planet equal to physics dot overlap here so the first one is the position from where you're going to start here so it's going to be transform dot position then you're going to give the radius which is our radius and we are not going to take in layer mask into consideration because we want to apply force to all the objects that are having colliders so next we're going to say for each collider hit in planets so if you find a collider and if hit 
dot game object is not equal to this dot game object that means we won't be applying force to ourselves so if that is the condition so the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the distance which will be vector 3 distance let's call it distance v this dot transform dot position minus hit dot transform dot position so once we have the distance this will also act as the direction we can just normalize this distance to get the direction to apply this distance to the force equation we need a float not a vector 3 so we'll take the magnitude of the distance and we'll call it float distance equal to distance v dot magnitude so now we have all the data that we require for the force equation now we also require the rigid body of the component of the collider that we hit so we will let's call it rigid body rg equal to hit dot game object dot get components rigid body so once you have the rigid body you can calculate the force so we can say vector 3 force is equal to first we need to multiply the mass of this rigid body and that rigid body so let's just say rb dot mass multiplied by rg dot mass and this thing will be divided by the square of the distance so we can say math f dot power and we will do distance squared this whole thing is the magnitude of the force so we also need the direction so we can just multiply this with distance v dot normalized so that's basically a unit vector in the direction of distance so now that we have the force we can just say rg dot add force so the vector 3 will be nothing but force and the force mode is going to be force so our gravity script is ready let's go back to unity and test it out so now the rigid body mass of my mass one is 5 so the radius is 5 into 6 divided by 10 which is 3 and mass 2 is actually at a distance of 9 so it should not be affected by the gravity so let's play the game Okay, let's go back to scene and if I select mass 1 and slowly increase the mass so that the value will be the radius will become 9 drop the game and increase the mass and let's play it again so now the small sphere should experience a gravity yes it does and it comes and hits on the glider you can just play around with the masses depending on your requirement in your game so just adjust the drag angular drag mass of both the game objects so that the behavior is what you want so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment box below thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share